So the infamous red raspberry leaf tea. We've talked about how much of it you should drink. We've talked about different ways to get it in and different taste tests. But now I have a new way that I found on Amazon. But before I begin, my name is Midwife Kyra and I believe in truly natural birth because I know it makes for better birth experiences. Consider subscribing to my channel and joining in today's conversation about the importance of red raspberry leaf tea. And don't forget to get your copy of my birth preparation packing list. It's found in the description below. So I found these, um, a client actually came into these uh, last week and showed them to me. I've never even heard of them and coincidentally, one of my my mamas on social media had actually messaged me to ask me if these were worth buying instead of buying the actual red raspberry leaf tea. So later in this video we're going to do a taste test on these but for now let me tell you a little bit about the benefits of red raspberry leaf tea and how we can use these. So you may already know that red raspberry leaf tea tones your uterus and gets your body ready for pregnancy and that I recommend in the beginning of your pregnancy you're doing about a cup or two a day but at the end of your pregnancy I have my mom is drinking up to a quart a day. When you're drinking red raspberry leaf tea a cup of tea is about 1500 milligrams of tea so that would be one cup a day. Although these chews are amazing and they do recommend that you chew let's see it says take one chew three times a day it's only 247 milligrams per chew. And so these chews are great. They're tiny. They kind of look like regular Starbursts. But for 247 milligrams per chew, that means I need to chew six of these to equal one cup of this. Now, that could actually be pretty helpful when you're later in your pregnancy and honestly, you've just had enough of drinking red raspberry leaf tea. But let's talk about the calories and the sugar. So each of these chews is 20 calories, which is two grams of sugar. So to get six chews of this, which is one cup a day, you're gonna be eating 120 extra calories. Now when you're in your third trimester and you're needing to have four cups a day of your tea, that's gonna be 480 calories, which is almost an entire meal of just these sweet little chews. What I do like about them, however, is if you need like a reminder to take your red raspberry leaf tea, or let's say you kind of have a sweet tooth while you're pregnant, instead of eating something like Starburst, for example, which have no nutritional value and they're filled with dyes and things like that, you can chew these little red raspberry leaf tea chews and not only get a little extra nutrition, but also cure that little sweet tooth that you have going on. If you're anything like me and you suck at drinking red raspberry leaf tea, put this in your purse and now you have quick red raspberry leaf on the go. And in comparison to Starburst, Eight of these would have nine grams of sugar less than Starburst would have and no red dyes or anything like that. In fact, I looked at their ingredients and they're largely organic and um, completely natural. So they're really safe for you to have while you're pregnant. And two grams of sugar really isn't a lot of sugar. So before we do our taste test, if it comes down to the tea or it comes down to the chews, my recommendation is you go ahead and spend your money on the tea. And I would actually recommend that you buy the tea in bulk. Um, because you're gonna be drinking a quart of it a day um, in your third trimester. So I'm gonna link that in the description below where you'll also find these if you're interested. But for now, let's move on to a taste test because I know that you're probably dying to know what they taste like, um, like I was when my client brought them in last week. So I'm gonna call in my office manager here at the Natural Birth House and my camera guy, Lane. You guys come over here. All right. Emily's really nervous. Emily asked me earlier, <laughs> she said, oh, does it taste like leaves? So let's see what we got. They don't smell. They don't smell? That was my first thing, uh, question I had. Emily doesn't like the oh, tea either. they do either. smell. They do? They do? Yeah, oh, they, they do smell. Yeah, very earthy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, it smells oh, like, like the tea. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like the brewed tea. All right, let's go. <laughs> this is so gross. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like the tea. Okay. With a lot of sugar in it. For two grams of sugar, it's actually pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. very syrupy. What does that taste it like? It tastes like molasses. Molasses. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it tastes like. Like steamed uh, syrup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is like a, to me, it's a really, really strong, very, very potent red raspberry leaf tea. I'm surprised it only has, what, 247 milligrams in mm -hmm. it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> I still don't like it. <laughs> So if y'all want to check these out, we're going to link them up down in the description. I want to know from you guys, do they taste like molasses if you do get some? Post them. Um, I want to know if you guys taste them. I want to see your face when you're tasting them. <laughs> They'd have to go to your Facebook page or your uh, Instagram. Can you send me like a six second video of your face? Because <laughs> I know some of my mamas really like the red raspberry leaf tea. 
I can barely swallow it. Yeah. <laughs> <can't get> <laughs> She's done. I think we're closing the video. I definitely say that you should just stick with the tea. If you're interested in learning about how to make the tea in bulk, or learning a little bit more about how red raspberry leaf is really beneficial to you during your pregnancy and why I recommend it to my mamas here at the birth house, I'm gonna go ahead and post those links to those videos right here. I have an entire red raspberry leaf tea playlist and I'll see you guys over there. Thanks for watching this Midwife Monday. Bye-bye. <coughs> was it as bad as you thought it was gonna be? It doesn't taste like grass. <laughs> it doesn't taste like grass. <laughs>